Hello and welcome to the C++ and Science YouTube channel, where I will teach you various topics around C++. I'm your host, Andreas Fertig, a trainer and consultant for C++. I'm available for in-house, on-site or remote training. Today I'd like to show you or illustrate you something around move semantics. For some time we had a feature that didn't have a name and now is referred to as an implicit move or an implicitly movable entity. Here is my motivating example. I have a struct, let's call it move only. It comes with a defaulted default constructor and a defaulted move constructor. So by the rules of special member functions, this class no longer comes with the copy operations, but sometimes we have this move only types, for example, a unique pointer is such a case. And what I can do in C17, for example, I can have this move only type and have a function g that takes a move only parameter or an object of type move only as a parameter and returns that one. And that line itself, if I take that one out for a moment, that compiles just fine. Compiles just unhappy that I'm not having anything there to execute. If I put back the line I just removed, there's one case that doesn't work. If my function takes a R value reference of a move only object, then this code suddenly doesn't compile and the compiler here tells us, oh, it needs a copy constructor and it doesn't find one. Once I add a copy constructor, the code would work fine, but it's a move only type. Now imagine that G and F are maybe a generic function template which always returns the type, but it takes either by value or by R value. So this type has to satisfy both. There was a change in the standard in C20. We compile in C17 mode so far. This change in C20 makes this code valid and compile. So in C20, we have a perfectly implicitly movable object here. That one moves just fine. So if we look at this in C++ in science, then we can see, indeed, my class move only comes with the deleted copy constructor and copy assignment operator. My G and F function now, they both have a static cast to the parameter casting it to an R value. So essentially, that's a move. And this is now present for f and g, so even for r value references. And that makes our code once again hopefully a little easier and we can get more performance even from such scenarios. So this is what was added with C20. C23 improved that even more and got rid of a couple of more edges that were left there, such that it gets now even easier and more consistent when things are implicitly moved. But that's something for another episode. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.